We're in the bathroom of a class one residential building. And in this video, I'm wanting to highlight the importance of properly constructing waterproofing systems and ensuring that all elements do what they're designed to do. AS3740 requires a water stop around the extremity of the shower to ensure that subsurface water is captured and contained within the shower area, then directed towards the drain. Looking at the extremity of this shower, we can see a water stop is installed. However, the shower membrane continues under the water stop and tiles outside of the shower, meaning that subsurface water can freely escape. Additionally, the porous grout and tiles would absorb water out of the shower area. Consequently, this effectively creates a subsurface pool in the rest of the bathroom floor, and with no drain to fall to, cause an array of potential harms on the building. It is important to remember that waterproofing systems are not designed to just be a barrier shielding building materials from water. Idle water sitting in the subsurface with nowhere to drain to can still cause harm. Looking onto the entry of the wet area, AS3740 also requires a water stop at the entry to ensure all subsurface water is contained within the wet area to protect the rest of the building. We can see here the perimeter flashing is not continuous. There are substrate concerns with the timber door jams and architraves extending below the tile surface, plus clear gaps at the ends of the water stop, both at the door jam and the cavity, meaning that subsurface water in the wet area will effectively be funneled towards these openings absorbed by the timber elements and flowing into parts of our building we don't want water to go. It is worth noting that the standard also requires the water stop to finish flush with the top of the tile to ensure that subsurface water is adequately retained within the wet area. Waterproofing systems, they're designed to capture water, direct it towards a drainage point where required and safely away from our buildings. So although this wet area shows the right components of a waterproofing system, unless those components are configured and installed correctly to contain water and redirect it, that water will inevitably escape the wet area and cause an array of issues on the building.